I'm Trisha, a California organic gardener. It's early summer and my fruit trees are beginning to have little baby fruit and they're lush and green. So it's time to do some summer pruning and thinning. The main purpose for summer pruning is to control the size and shape of your fruit tree. You also will allow light to go into the canopy, which will increase the flavor of the fruit and the quality, as well as help for next year's flower development. Depending on the fruit tree variety, you can prune up to three times in the non-dormant season. Watch for terminal or end buds to know when it's time to prune. Once about 75% of your tree's terminal buds have stopped growing, it's time to prune. This bud has not stopped growing, but this one has. For mature apple and pear trees, you can prune earlier to keep the tree small and to decrease this green, vigorous growth. See all these upright shoots and water sprouts? Best time to prune them is in the summer. When you cut these off in the summer, you're helping the tree to redirect its energy to the fruit. For summer pruning, we want to use mainly thinning cuts rather than heading cuts. And we want to prune right up to the collar. Mature trees like this Braeburn apple really benefit from summer pruning. You also want to prune your cherries and apricots after harvesting in the summer. Look for dead or diseased wood. It's really easy to spot when the tree is all green and leafed out. After a tough winter, you will have some dead wood. Summer pruning will help reduce the amount of pruning that you need to do in the dormant season. Thinning your fruit off your fruit tree can be a little bit scary because you don't really want to cut off any of the fruit, but in the long run, it's better for the tree. Thinning your fruit can be done at the same time as summer pruning for many species, like this apple tree. Thinning raises fruit size and quality, it reduces disease, and reduces some of the tree's tendencies for alternate bearing. That means that one year you get a lot of fruit, and the next year you get hardly any. Palm fruits like apples and pears grow in clusters and benefit from cluster thinning. Do this thinning after the June drop when unpollinated or undersized fruit drops naturally. Start to thin the fruit when it's about an inch in diameter. Pick the largest out of a cluster and pinch off the rest. Take off any diseased fruit or ones with insect damage. For fruit not born in clusters, thin to about three inches apart. Enjoy yourself this summer in the orchard, pruning and thinning your fruit trees. And I promise you'll enjoy it even more at harvest time. So thanks for joining and grow organic for life. <music>